whether the proposition that reservation of seats for the scheduled caste, scheduled tribes in this Lok Sabha and, and their state legislative assemblies cease after a certain period, can it be said to be constitutionally final? Whether the right to stand as a candidate or to vote for a candidate in direct elections to the lower house of parliament as well as the legislative assemblies from all walks of society is an integral part of principle of equality and democracy and as such a part of the basic structure of the constitution. Malaj, in fact, this would be the major issue because it would then decide how the matter is to be decided, whether it's part of the basic structure or not. This would be the major issue. Whether the amendments to Article 334 of the constitution extending the period of reservations are not subject to closer judicial review in view of a limited reservation policy enshrined in the original constitution, whether objective and quantifiable data was present for such extensions to save them from manifest arbitrariness and the requirements of Article 14. Whether the Constitution 104th Amendment Act is therefore unconstitutional and whether consequently all provisions contained in any enactment for which provide for or facilitate such reservation of seats in the Lok Sabha and state legislative assemblies and various examples are given, my lords, will thus become constitutionally invalid because the direct effect is on these specific statutes. Given the language of Article 329A, the original base provision of the Constitution, whether it can be said to be in violation of the basic structure of the Constitution by taking away judicial review of challenge to delimitation of constituencies or allotment of seats to them under Articles 327 and 328. Whether distribution of number of seats. Now, my lords, if your lordships say that it can be continued and decide against us on the other issues, then another issue would arise is whether the distribution of number of seats for the SC and ST without rotation is violative of Article 14. And whether the Delimitation Act is violative of Articles 81, 82, 170 of the Constitution. My Lords, it is my belief that a lot of subsidiary issues will arise out of this. A play of 19, 1A, play of uh, 14 with that, play of 15, 16. But this would be broadly, all that I feel would be covered when your lordships are considering issue number two. And I feel this more or less what we did, my lords, is when we went into specific issues given by everyone, we ran into, <laughs> we did a compilation of issues. I, I, uh, Mr. Attorney, I'll just get, come to no, you in a moment. In my uh, just one second, Mr. Attorney. Mr. Arunesher Gupta's four issues are all subsumed in Mr. Uh, Sundaram's formulation. Yeah, but, uh, I think, because Arunesher, your, no, Mr. Arunesher, no, your, no, your no, issues are submissions, actually. These are not I issues. They are all subsumed. But in my, in my my issue is just one second, Mr. Attorney, have you been able to? Uh, are you agree? In fact, we shared some issues earlier. <coughs> I think uh, on a relocating. I think issue number four is the only issue which requires to be considered. The rest are all suppose satellite issues. The constitution is therefore unconstitutional. There are arguments on four things. Right. That's the only direct issue to be considered. That is a very wide format. But to arrive at the conclusion for four, I feel a decision under two is vital, my lord, so whether it's like basic structure or not. So therefore, issue number four, the first part of it is a direct issue to be considered. Mm -hmm. and, and, and even number six may not arise here at all. So then it would be for different facets of yeah, four, the satellite either arguments, arguments, submissions or make a submission. I agree with the AG. The central issue is 334. This should be called in rate 334. The 334 proviso is what we're challenging with the 10-year extension. Everything else is consequential. Many of the other issues are consequential. They're really as arguments the, under different things. Exactly. As far as the constitution bench is concerned, the constitutionality of the 334 proviso right. has to be looked at. The rotation issue is only if we admit that doesn't necessarily have to be dealt with by a constitution that that could be even dealt with. Let me just look at the provisos that are, let's uh, read it yeah. for a moment before we formulate constitution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That will be time because that was very useful actually. Three thirty four minutes. Just read three. Notwithstanding anything in the foregoing provisions of this part, the provisions of this constitution relating to A 
reservation of seats for the SCs and STs in the House of People and in the Legislative Assemblies of the States, and B, representation of the Anglo-Indian community in the House of People and in the Legislative Assemblies of the States by nominees, shall cease to have effect on the expiration of a period of, and this is where the amendments have come, Every 80 ten years. years in respect of Clause A, so that continues, and 70 years in respect of Clause B, the Anglo-Indian has come to an end, from the commencement of this constitution, provided that nothing in this article shall affect any representation of the House of People or Legislative Assembly until the dissolution of the then existing House of Assembly as the case may be. So, Anglo Indians, it's, it has come to an that's end come in to 2020. An end. No, that's come so to we are end. now left with really the challenge to SEST. In fact, the issue is, yes. my lords, that's every it, 10 years, the proviso is being amended. Every 10 years, the proviso is being amended. For example, now it is 80 years earlier, 10 years ago, it was 70 years. Before that, it was 60 years. So the present amendment is, this last amendment was saying 80 years. Earlier, the, the amendment, if your lordship would kindly see, it replaced the 70 years which was there earlier. So every time the period is expiring. So, Mr. Sundaram, your argument in issue number two, I, I'm just to understand your argument, is that by reserving certain seats for a certain community or a group of communities that affects the rights of other communities to contest for those seats and this is a part of the basic structure a, that's your argument absolutely Malad, sir. but this is an this is a submission Malad, that, that, is, no, a that is one Malad, i i have no pro i just tried to highlight this if your lordships feel it can be all dealt with in one no, issue i have is when you open the arguments you can say that your challenge these are the propositions on the following, on the following grounds which Malad, because uh, obviously the other that, issue I which i did I not include was the nature of temporary legislations, etc., which again is a matter of argument. That's completely. A matter of argument completely. So, really speaking, we should frame the issue in terms of four as First a solution. Because third is all second. Then, my lords, everything will be subsumed in it. Everything yes. will be subsumed in four. That's what the learned AG is uh, suggesting. No, I have no problem uh, on that at all. The Constitution I have... 104th Amendment Act is therefore unconstitutional and whether consequently. All provisions can take care of everything. It's an umbrella issue which yes. takes care of other propositions. Uh, With lordship kindly, Lord, may I make one submission? Lord? Yes. Lord, I would request, my lord, two or three issues to be added, my lord. Lord, I have also, my lord, given the issues, my lord, to the Nodal Council. But unfortunately, my lord, it is not there. I will leave it to my lord. Mr. Chandrasekhar, I will leave to my lord. Chandrasekhar, one second. Just give us, who has the issues which you are proposing, you have them? Just give yes, them sir, it Just one second, Mr. Chandrasekhar, we will just get it circulated to us. Very good. No, lord, you have a hard copy for the lordship. You have mailed it. When did you mail it? May I submit, my lord? Oh, just now, then. All right, what are the issues you tell us, Mr. Chandra? Well, 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 vertical reservation in the absence of protective reservation under part three, protective discrimination under part one three. Second, one second, he'll just take more printouts for all the colleagues. One second. Or upload the karoza so that all the other lawyers will also get it. Upload kar lije. Inko ek de dije upload karne ke liye. I'll show you all. Our people as folks will be very interested to see how. Wo upload kar do. Kya kya jis mein hum kiye na? I think the same, same these would be the various way. arguments under the same issue. Yeah. These are again submissions and proposals. This becomes argumentative again to substantiate the main issue. All right. Let's, uh, let's read it. Whether providing political reservation valid in the absence of protective discipline, whether providing political reservation violates fundamental rights, not in the future.
वाइट वायरस का ट्रांसमिशन है आर्ग्यूमेंट्स हैं दीज आर आर्ग्यूमेंट्स इट्स अ केवल अंडर वंस योर लॉर्डशिप से ऑल ऑफ दिस इज ऑल अंडर कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव इनफ टू कम इफ योर लॉर्डशिप से फोर इज द अंब्रेला देन इवन माय अदर इश्यूज विल फॉल विद इन फोर आई हैव जस्ट मे बी परहैप्स द फर्स्ट पार्ट द फॉलोइंग इशू इज फ्रेम for decision by the constitution bench colon whether the constitution bracket 104th amendment bracket act 2019 uh is, is unconstitutional unconstitutional malad sir that's it Therefore, i think that's not malad sir i was just wondering subject to what your lordship say the 104th amendment is a is an amendment before that there was an earlier amendment for the 70 years 60 years so perhaps the umbrella issue would be whether constitutional amendments extending periods of uh, reservation so under the proviso no 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 not in the past. past not in the past i'm saying 104th your lordship is then limiting it to 10 year period i'm not asking your lordships to go behind the 10 year period i'm asking my lords to whatever your lordships will decide to be forward after the 10 year period also because the 104th amendment may be replaced by a subsequent amendment 10 years later to go back with point so all i'm saying is the principle is what is the major issue which has to be decided otherwise my lords i'm not going behind the 104th amendment but the point is if your lordship say 104th amendment is bad then there might be a subsequent amendment after 10 years for another 10 years The lordships have to see whether the this will uh, take care. Or if you want, the concept of extending the reservation. Uh, we should we formulate them? We are just lay low, but we'll just say whether we should include it. Whether the exercise of the constituent power uh, of amend of amendment to extend the period prescribed for the expiration of the period of reservations under Article three thirty four of the Constitution. is constitutionally valid uh oh, you want uh mr aryam lemon senior council uh full stop uh issue issue 2 it is clarified shall not impinge on the legitimacy of the amendments to the constitution which were made prior to the 104th amendment my lord that the uh, 104th amendment to the extent it applies to scst because the amendment applies to anglo indians as well right uh, the, 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 uh, the way uh, we have it is looking uh, it is the 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 uh, the validity of the 104th amendment shall be determined to the extent that it apply applies to the scheduled castes and scheduled tribes only yeah. since the since the uh, reservation for anglo indians in article 334 bracket b has come to an end on the expiration of 70 years after the adoption of the constitution my lords lords all this in rate 334 uh, the the reference that, to the constitution that, 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 that again so, lord is an argument no we'll just so, say name, no a title name. title that's right your lord should say in rate the the reference to the constitution bench shall be titled yeah. as Colon in re Article three thirty four of the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Now we will say the uh, in terms of the SOP dated uh, the circular dated twenty two uh, August two thousand and twenty three. Uh, who are the two nodal council? I have done it. In terms of the SOP, I have prepared a Google form and I have circulated among the lawyers. Give a name. Give a name. For the purpose, they can upload it on the form. It can automatically. उंड On But your side, the reservation can go on. Uh, yes. uh, is uh, the the common compilation of uh, case law documents and written submissions shall be prepared in terms of the circular dated twenty two August two thousand and twenty three. Full stop. Uh, in modification of the procedural directions issued on one November two thousand and twenty two. Which came? Come on. 
Mr. Puneet Jain uh, and Mr. Chitwan Singh, uh, Mr. Puneet Jain on Chitwan. the side of the petitioners mm -hmm. and Mr. Chitwan Singhal. Uh, Singhal on the side of the respondents are appointed as notary council. The notary council shall prepare soft copies of the common compilation duly indexed in terms of the above circular. Right. Full stop. This exercise shall be the co common compilation of uh, documents, including statutes, uh, which shall be filed within a period of two weeks. Maybe even within a period of like, all right. Within a period of four three weeks, four. Three, three weeks, I think. We will be common in Assam also. We do our personal research. All right. all right. Within a period of four weeks. Within a period of on or before, as a Carlo. On or before, today is the 20th, right? 27th. 20th October. On or before 17 October 2023, the written submissions shall be filed on or before 